hunger is the first one. I mean, people say all the time, what is it? I mean, intelligence in any sports, business, anything. I love people that are wickedly smart personally. But I really find there are a lot of smart people can't fight their way out of a paper bag. It's the ability to keep growing that only comes from an internal drive of hunger that says, no matter how great I am at what I'm doing, I'm just beginning. I, there's another level and I'm gonna find it. Very few people have that. Most people get to a certain goal and they get comfortable and they stop. And then there's another one when it comes to sports and it's domination. It's the desire to dominate, to be the best, to rise to a new level, to conquer yourself first. But by conquering yourself, you conquer everyone else. Can you find the next level of yourself? I mean, you know, I had a chance to visit with Michael Jordan several times when he was playing, and, and I, I was always struck by Michael asking him at one point, I said, what makes you the best in the world? Is it talent? God given talent is a skill, is a strategy. And, and he was really great. He goes, Tony, I can say this to you honestly, and you can see if not, you know, hyperbole or, or false modesty. He said, you know, when I was in high school, I got cut. You know, the coach cut me. Most people know the story, right? But like, because he said I had all this talent, but I didn't have the hunger, I didn't have the drive. And then it happened to him again when he lost to Detroit. And he cried, and he was mad at everything else on the bus, and then that was the season when he would start lifting weights and he changed the game, right? That's when he set him up for the, the three-peat twice in a row. So hunger, the desire to win, the desire to be the best, and when I say desire, the hunger, the drive, the passion for that, and a love of whatever they do. If you don't love what you do, you're not gonna excel, right? And you gotta love it. It's gotta be something that takes you to another level. So whether it be, you know, the Warriors or whether it be, you know, you look over at Cleveland and there are no slouches over there, you know, King James over there. I mean, that man is, you know, he's a predator, you know? It's like he goes off court, he's a predator. When he blocked that shot in the final game, you know, not this year, the previous year, that was the game. He changed the entire thing. His ability to get more out of himself each year, that's hunger, that's drive, that's passion, that's not willing to sell for less than you can be, that's the desire to dominate, which he owns completely, you know? So I respect that, I love that. It calls to me probably because I have some of those qualities inside myself, so I align with them. But I also think, I know, having dealt with tens of millions of people in more than 100 countries for 40 years now, the best of the best, that those are common denominators that are, they're not negotiable. If they're not there, you're not gonna maximize.